guys, Jim Parquet here. This is lesson two in our full course on how to fix your pre premature hip rotation, right? Check out our other videos in this course as well as online on our YouTube channel to really help you understand all the components that go into it, right? Because there's going to be a lot of things that we're talking about here that maybe you've got to go and research on, on our stuff, right? So in essence, just kind of in review, premature hip rotation, what defines premature? Right, that's the key. What is actually premature because it varies from hitter to hitter. Premature meaning your barrel is not in, in place or ready to hit. You've gotta let all of the back end of your swing, right, your slotting, your launch angle creation, your barrel getting on plane, all of that stuff to, to develop and be patient with that before you rotate your hips. If I don't, if I'm unprepared with my barrel to hit the ball, then and I and I rotate, then that's premature hip rotation. But if I'm prepared, then I can open up and explode, and off goes the story, right? I'm gonna give you the back end right here on kind of how it works, how it should look like, right? We've got a reader here. This uh, does barrel speed rather than hand speed. Big difference on that, right? Because the barrel is what hits the ball. We're not taking the knob to the ball the entire time. We're gonna create barrel lag by bringing the knob, but then at some point, we've gotta use the top hand to bring the barrel to the ball in order to hit it and maximize, right? We are training impact hitters, not just going for baseball and hit it where it's pitched, that kind of stuff. When a hitter, when a pitcher makes a mistake, we make them pay, right? I train hitting at the top levels of the game, pro, college, major division one. Um, I was a pitcher and I obviously had to know how to hit, what it took to hit, and all the telltale signs of a swing in order to not give you your pitch when you wanted it because that keeps my bases empty and more W's in my baseball card, right? So um, here's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna put this out, the $10 million pitch. We call it the $10 million pitch big level because you put this into the stands, you make 10 million bucks. How do they do that? By ensuring that the barrel is in, is prepared properly before I rotate, right? So if it looks proper, it's gonna look like this, right here. There it is. Now that ball is padded, okay? I feel like that might have even gone out for the first home run of my entire life, but bottom line is, it's tatted. I actually did something really, really good for you guys here again. I'm gonna do it again because it felt so good right here. There it is, okay? Ball straight. If I had any muscles, that ball's into the stands, but I don't have that kind of juice. That probably is good one hopping, maybe three hopping if I'm lucky. But, okay, so how am I hitting this? It's because I'm not opening up my hips too early. I'm preparing my barrel to, to hit before I rotate. Hence premature hip rotation or my hips are working properly, right? So what are the components to that? Well, if I start off and do this wrong, right? Remember, we want good plate coverage back and forth. Not just this deep one, right? At the big level, ball moves this way as us pitchers get better in the frame. Ball moves this way as we get more into the hitting counts, right? Because Obviously, we're defending and we're aggressive. If we're aggressive, you made a mistake, okay? Watch what happens if I prematurely rotate. I don't get my front foot into the ground. Off the end, four, six, three, thanks for coming, okay? So, this right here would be rotating to get the front heel into the ground. Incorrect, premature hip rotation, because look what happens. I'm preparing it, I'm preparing it, it's unprepared. I haven't created or slotted or done all of this and then actually matching pitch plane, right? So it would look like this. Here we go, okay? I'm gonna top, go down, right? This action, instead of getting heel connection, getting the front heel into the ground. Okay, here we go. You can see I get wide because I'm gonna compete and this barrel weight's taking me and I'm trying to bring it back in because I'm not gonna hit my bat, right? We're gonna compete and therefore we get that. So what do they say to you? Well, you're out front, Parquet. This isn't where you're supposed to put it. You're supposed to put it back here like I see all the big leaguers at, it, on, on Instagram and stuff. And this is what they train. Yeah, they train this to maximize this, okay? That's what they're doing. They're training the deepest portion of their, of their swing, of their, of their, um, 
strike zone to stay behind the ball and get that front foot in the ground. If I don't get that front heel in the ground, I can't stay behind it. I gotta get it down so then therefore, everything else has time to prepare to be able to hit this, right? So here's that deep portion, right? I'm gonna prepare it all by getting the front heel into the ground. Okay, get it down into the ground. What I did was just get a flat foot into the ground. I've gotta concrete it down, kind of like a pole vault. He's gotta stab that, that pit before he gets up or she gets up on it, right? So if I get it down, I'm gonna stomp for you and get it down, right? There it is, very good, I felt real good on that. So you see the difference on the two. One is good power sail, bam, right, staying behind it. The other is this way. If we just give, right, if we just give just a little, man, it's not very good. Game of inches, okay? So essentially what I'm telling you, get the front foot down before you rotate. The other thing, we talked about it, is making sure that we keep the, the pressure on the inside of my leg and ankular support. Once we get to the outside, we start getting over it too much. So from the back end, if I'm trying to just put this ball sack it to shortstop, right? Okay, and I get over it a little too much, right? I'm gonna get over top heavy, or I'm gonna come out. That causes me to have to prematurely rotate, right? That's what it is. And you see this action, right? So you see this action. When I get to, you see that action. Front knee flex, not enough front leg extension. Front knee flex, leg extension. See, that is what we want right there, right? Boom, that action. Hey, boxing, that action. Do boxers do this? No, because they're gonna get knocked out. They step punch, step punch. Power punch, step big power. Step punch, right? Step punch. See the, you see how the lower half correlates to the upper half, right? So again, here we go. I'm going to get out front of it. Here, right? Okay? Can't do it. You see that action. Exaggeration. We put it in full motion for you. Then get then keep the pressure here, right? If I don't keep the pressure there and I get out front, there it is. Okay? Maybe I could doink that over there, whatever, whatever. But man, this pulls up. Yeah, I might be on a defensive whip. But I gotta be able to do damage with this. You gave me a cookie, I need to be able to hit it. How do I do that? By keeping pressure on the inside and squeezing my knees through. My knees are squeezed through hip rotation, right? They're squeezed through. I'm squeezing them through, all the way through, which brings this backside forward and keeps it strong. Boom, right? As soon as I let the pressure off, right? I'm gonna squeeze and then let it off and you can see how it does that, right? Keep your front side squeezed or strong through it and you'll be able to hit. Good, okay? So I'm gonna put on our harness here. This is on the front side, okay? I'm gonna take our foot strap off, put it here on the front side, okay? It's a great way to give you feedback because we could talk all day long about this stuff. And the reality is, if you can't feel nothing, all you're gonna hear is a lecture. And us athletes might not be the brightest of the bunch, right? That's why we're athletes, maybe, I don't know. But bottom line is, for me personally, I need to feel it. Go ahead and tell me how to do something. Okay, great, I get an understanding. But I need to actually eat it. This gets you to eat it. If I get too top heavy, if the energy comes on the outside, if I basically don't get my front foot down in time, all of these things, speeding up too quickly before my barrel gets into preparation to hit, it's gonna pull me down. As long as I stay this action, look what happens. I don't really feel it, bam. It's just right there, I'm counteracting it, good to go. So, keep me behind. Here's that back pitch right here. Let's get my front foot down, stomp. Good. Okay, here we go again. I'm not gonna stomp, I'm just gonna step. There it is. You see the correlation on that. Front foot, get it down, okay? Second one, making sure that I stay behind and everything's on the inside. Squeeze the knees a long time. There it is, straight up. I don't squeeze the knees. You're gonna see this front leg, front knee, ex, ex, uh, front knee flex, and not enough front leg extension, right? So I'm not gonna squeeze the knees. 
you can see it blows out, right? Blowing out, okay? And then the last portion is staying behind it with your upper half, staying stacked over your back hip, right? I'm gonna exaggerate this and stay stacked throughout the entire time. Nope, what I do, I got forward and I felt this thing pull me down, okay? So let's do a bad again since I'm on that one right here. Let's go bad, right? You can see me coming across. Hopefully I can stay stacked right here. Stay stacked. Good. And then vice versa, once I got that down, I'm working that, now I go to where I make my money. This is where I make my money, right here. Pitcher made a mistake, 2-0 count, stars are aligned. I finally got myself in that situation. Squeeze the knees, front foot down. Stay behind it, you won't rotate your hips too early, and it should look like this. Right there. Okay, hopefully you like this video. We got a bunch more, we got some drills for you help you fix that premature hip rotation. Check out our uh, website, full line of products to get you the big ones.